All right, hello team Healthy Life. Welcome to your upper body resistance training day. Um, so I'm going to intend to go for about half an hour, but going to see if I can limit myself to that. So I wanted to give you a few different options with equipment that you might have at home. Um, and then of course you can use this when you come back to the gym too. So if you're at home, if, you, if you're really lucky to have um, dumbbells or plates, um, or your barbell or an Olympic bar, that's fantastic. But I just want to give you an option um, with a resistance band. If you have something like such, two. Okay, so I'm going to be jumping around back and forth with all your options. What I'd like for you to do is just keep going, keep ripping it out, um, and I'm going to be blabbing on and showing you all the options, um, and most of them are going to depend on what equipment you have. Um, for instance, if you have a bench, that's fantastic. Do use it. If not, I'll give you options to work uh, with on the floor. Okay, so I'm uh, going to be doing uh, seven, seven different exercises. Just wanted to try and target your your big compound movements, your big pushes and pulls first, and then get into some three-dimensional shoulder training and triceps and biceps, and that's pretty much it. Nothing too complicated. Um, the thing with your resistance training, um, rep sets and rest and all the rest and duration really depend on your goals, of course. So, um, so what I'm going to do today is to give us about 45 seconds to, to, um, to do our reps in, a little bit of a breather in between, and, and what I want you to do um, you might only have light weights at home, so just want you to rip it out, go for that volume with as much control as you have. Um, should your goals be strength and muscular hypertrophy or to build more muscle, you're going to be using more weights, um, getting your sort of six or ten reps out and then making most of the rest period in between while I'm working. So. Um, so feel free to adjust those accordingly and if you have any questions um, you can find me on Facebook or chat to me in the club or give me a buzz um, and otherwise in the meantime let's do something today. So first of your exercises we're going to work in laps so we're going to start with some lap pullovers so show you your options. Alrighty so I'm going to start with my bar here team so I'm going to be lying on my back. If you have your bench, that is fantastic. Please use it. And we're going to be working like a T-Rex. Imagine you're down on a plank. And we're going to keep that 1990 angle as we come back and forth. All right. So when you're ready, let's grab a, a suitable weight. Lying onto your back. I'm going to set a little timer here. You want your hands shoulder width apart. It's slightly closer. All right, let's go. So option one with your bar for your set here. Okay, guys, so we're going to start bending the elbows down. Now, if you're on the floor, your elbows are only going to go down to the floor. All we're going to do is pull that bar back to the crown of your head, as far as you can take it, and forth. So you're locking your arms into place and just try and feel the isolation. So this is going to work your lats as you pull it over, just working with control here. Uh, so I'm going time under tension today, so just keeping that muscle under tension, nice and slowly, exhaling as I pull it back. All right, so in every exercise that we're doing today, brace your core. All right, so that's one set. Now, you can either stay with that if you have your bar, or set two, I'll show you another option. All right, level two. I'm gonna grab any sort of weight dumbbell plate. I'm going to lock my arms up and take it straight over here like that and forth. All right, let's go, guys. So just try to drop your shoulders. Exhale as we pull. Good. Now, if you are on a bench or on a fit ball or on your bozy ball, you can take that plate or your weight further overhead. That's an increase the range. Good. So what I'm actually going to do from here, I'm going to shimmy all the way back to the back of the stage, into the stage, and get a little more range on this. So nice tight core, exhaling as we pull that plate of weight back up. Slide bend the elbows as you take it back. Beautiful. All right, time. So last option, you can stay on one of those two, or what I'm going to do here. It's a lap pull, so I'm just going to loop my band around something. Lie 
like such. I'm going to work from high to low. Okay, so check this out, team. I'm just going to come down here on my knees. Palms going to face forward, and I'm going to pull that band in. Slow control release, pulling it in. So you're leading with your elbow into your side. And you can even rotate that, okay? So my palm is going facing down, facing in. So I'm just going to switch to the other side. So this is just to show you, just to give you an idea of all your options. I'm hoping this band's not going to stop. Control release, control, control, control release. That's it, keeping that core on tight. Trying to feel that squeeze, slow control release. All right, time. Good. All right, so I'm just going for three sets today, guys. Of course, if you're, 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 your aim is to really bulk up, build that muscle, or even if you're aiming on strength, you're gonna be dropping your weights, working more sets, four or five. Okay, so, <laughs> so difficult to explain in such a short session. Next exercise, we're gonna work our chest. So chest press, or flies, or push-ups. I'm gonna show you some options here. So first option, regular chest press. If you have your bar, grab your bar, hands wide. Um, if you have a bench, that's fantastic. Please jump on your bench, of course. Um, or if you have a bozy, you can rest your upper back and neck on the bozy with your hips up, which would look something like this. Alrighty, same if you have a fit ball. That's just gonna work your core stabilizes even more. Um, and your band of options, you've got two options here, so let's just show you. I'm gonna bring the band just underneath your shoulder blades. I like to um, put my thumbs in there, lie back. And I'm just going to work chest press like that. So putting the elbows wide, squeeze them together. Um, if you have a really awkward band, which is like really long or really thick, um, you can also adjust it by doing fly. So palms facing together, setting the hands wide until your elbows touch the floor. Squeeze up. I think those are all your options. All right, three sets, let's go. So grab your weights, your barbell. Um, if you've got your dumbbells, that's fine. A couple of plates, water bottles, tin cans, whatever we're using. And let's get ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm on the bar here. That's it. So just to show you here, team, so I, I don't have my bench, but I just wanted to show you the range here. With your bar, you want to grab that really wide, so as you lower down, your, uh, your, your wrists are stacked directly above your elbows. And the target zone we want to hit is that mid to lower chest, that sternum. So sort of bra line or where you'd wear your, um, your heart rate monitor is absolutely perfect. So I know you're wrapping it out there at home, team. But check this out. If I'm lying down and bringing my bar up here, if I were to be horizontal, this is not working your chest. That's going to put a lot of strain on your shoulders. When you drop it down and work from there, that's where your power comes from. So as you're lying back, try and keep it a little lower and the bar directly above mid-chest. Okay, I've been yapping the whole time. Level two. Or round two. This time I'm going to fly it up, show you the fly options. So, palms going to face in. Now this is just going to isolate your chest a little bit more. Less tricep action or no tricep action. You're going to pull it wide, open the chest, feel the stretch. Squeeze your elbows together. Okay, so in your chest flies and in your chest press, what you want to feel is like you're trying to juice something underneath your armpits. Huh. Alright, so you want to pull your elbows together, whether your palms are facing forward in your chest press or whether your palms are facing in in your fly. So lift that chest, squeeze. You want to drive your upper back and your shoulder blades into your bench or into the floor and almost arch your back there, team. And if you're lucky enough to have a nice Olympic bar or a heavy bar at home, you want to drive your heels into the floor and that's going to help you press as you start to lose it. Last one. Bang. All right, so either sticking with what you're doing or let's go for the band option. Another way to work your chest is push-ups. I'm going to go for some band flies, just so I can get more range because I don't have a bench. All right, so palm facing. Let's feel the stretch and the squeeze. So down for three, two, one, up for one. Now you can either work a nice, smooth, slow, two-two tempo, time under tension, or if you're trying to get a little stronger, 
what we call the eccentric phase, the part, the easy part, where you're moving with gravity. You want to try and slow that down and explode up, up the bottom. And that's going to build your strength a little quicker. Lift the chest, squeeze. Oh, I'm feeling that, man. Ah, you can do so much with bands. Squeeze. All right, almost there, guys. Keep those arms wide if you're flying. Time. Awesome stuff. All right, chest done, lats done. We've done one pull and push. So we've done a vertical pull, a horizontal push. And now we're going to go into another pull. So bent over rows. So what we're going to work this morning, guys, is your overhand grip. Because we've already done your lats, we want to work more into the middle of the back, the traps and the rhomboids. And of course, a bit of biceps. So we're going to work in that hinge bent over position. Now, if you have your bar, overhand grip. Let's bring our heels under hips. We're going to tip forward, lift your tailbone to the ceiling, and work from just below the kneecaps up into that lower chest, that's it, or the lower part of the sternum. All right, so we're tracking the elbows back and in, we're not letting them fly out. So straight back, split second hold, control release. Same thing if you have your plates or your, your dumbbells, we're just gonna keep the palms facing back, absolutely the same. Um, and if you have your band, you might wanna play around with your stance here so you can get some good resistance. I'm gonna work, what am I gonna work, I'm gonna work. like such. All right, so you just want to make sure when you're working with your band, guys, that you're starting with tension on the band. You don't want to be floppy. That's going to do nothing. So tension from the start to the finish, and that'll give you a good little resistance workout. Okay, let's do it together. So bent over rows to start. I'm just going really light here, guys, just showing you what we're doing. Let's go for three sets at about 45 to 60 seconds. All right, we're ready. So let's set it up, good hinge from the hip. And you want to keep your back and neck long and straight. Your thumbs are just outside your thighs. Lift the tailbone, putting that bar straight up. Lower kneecaps, lower chest, or the sternum. That's it, elbow straight back. Now this time, we're moving our piece of fruit in between our shoulder blades. So you've got your mango there, you're trying to juice it as your shoulder blades slide in. Squeeze. And again, controlling it down. Controlling it down. Trying to relax the shoulders and the forearms and the neck. Let's go a couple more. Another one for fun. Time. Beautiful. Awesome stuff, team. Okay, so with your rows, the position of your hand, whether you are supine, pronating, or neutral, is just going to work a slightly different part of the back and be more bicep dominant or more back dominant or lat dominant. Um, so if you're using your dumbbells or your plates, I'm going to work a rotation. So let's start with the palms facing back, finishing palms facing forward, just so we're targeting more muscle area. Good. Keeping it going, team. Now, Regarding the bent over position, I know a lot of time we feel that fatigue in the lower back. So to prevent that, you want to make sure that you're properly engaging the glutes and your core to save that lower back. So you want to think that you're pressing your heels into your floor. Imagine you've got a little stinger and underneath there that you want to kill. And then we're going to lock that core. And imagine like you've just had a big blow of the stomach. So you can feel your glutes firm up and you can feel that core going hard. You're going to try and hold that there as we're rowing. And Time. Good. Okay, if you're really, really, really feeling it a lot, you can break up your rows. Coming down for one, two, or three. Stand up, little reset, come again. All right, last round. I'm going to jump onto my band. Okay, so getting that tension from the start. Raise the tailbone, open the chest. Let's go. Awesome. So again here, I'm going to rotate that wrist. Palms face back, palms face forward. Feel that squeeze. You want to really feel that back being juiced up and get that full range all the way down and as far up as you can get it. Squeezing, keeping those glutes on, core on. 
And what we don't want to see at any time, guys, is using momentum of the body and rocking to get those weights up. Rather drop the weights, work with control, get more out of it, target the full muscle belly. Last one. Time. Oh. Okay, next up. Let's do our shoulders. So I'm thinking, let's target front, back, and sides. Doing a little triceps. So three exercises we can cycle. Let's go for the Arnold press. Um, predominantly, that's going to work the front delts, um, but also all the way around. Then we'll do some upright rows, the side delts, um, and traps, and then we'll do some rear delt flies. Okay, some rear delt work. Good. So first up, let's work Arnold press. Um, with your dumbbells and your weights. So the Arnold Press here team is all about the rotation. So you want to try and drop the shoulders. We're going to start in a position, imagine that you're trying to hide away from someone. So dumbbells uh, or plates or whatever weight you're using in front of your face. And we're going to sweep out and up. So we're going to open, rotate the palms forward and bring it back down. Good. So imagine your elbows are leading the way. And that's your Arnold Press. Okay. If we're working on the band, few options here guys, let's try and just work on that front delt, so I'm either going to do a front raise or an overhead press, so front raise or something like that, so this is going to depend on the stretchiness or non-stretchiness of your band, trying to isolate, or overhead press, palms forward from the chin up to the ceiling, okay, so that's your first exercise, we're going to go straight into and the next one for your side delts, which is going to be upright rows, so bar weights, we're going to bring them straight up, same with your band. And then for the rear delt fly, if you've got your dumbbells or your weights, bent over position, flying up just past the shoulder line, squeezing the shoulder blades together. And your option, if you have your band, is just a little rear delt pull. So we're going to start tension on the band, softness in the elbows, leading with your elbows, pulling it back, arms locked out. Oh. Alrighty, so three cycles of those, like a tricep. Ready for the Arnold press? Yeah, of course we are. Let's go. Okay, so hiding away. Big reach and sweep. Control it down. So you want to feel those shoulder blades sliding and moving. Nice. So always a good exercise to, to, to sit down for. That's just going to help isolate the muscle even more so there's no way that you can use your lower body to help you. Add it. So we're trying not to swing, we're trying not to move, use momentum. Just control it and get the range. Out and up, down and in. Try to keep the elbows lifted. Whoa. Feeling that heat there already. Let's go, one more. Beautiful. Alrighty, next up, upright rows. Tell you what, I'm going to stick with my plates for this one or, or dumbbells. Feel free to switch to your bar or your band. Okay, so time for the medial or the side delt. I'm going to lead with your elbows high and wide. Pull your weight straight up. Uh, so, so put in the weights just that upper or mid chest. Keep the weight close to your body. Flying your elbows high and wide, dropping the shoulders. Up quick, down a little slower, building that strength right. That's it. Now when I'm doing some isolation work in the upper body, whether it's biceps or triceps or shoulders, I like to bend my knees slightly, a little bit of softness, tuck the tailbone under and just lock my core on. That's going to stop me from swinging. Nice stable base for isolation in the upper part of the body. Oh, <laughs> I'm feeling bad. Control, control, control. Imagine you're ironing up your shirt and down your shirt. Nice one. Okay, rear delt flies. So I'm going to stick with my little plates here. Feel free to change. Remember that bent over position, what we discussed just now, about, just now, <laughs> about locking that core on, locking the glutes on, pressing into the heels. All right, ready to fly? I'm going to start with my arms as long as I can get them. Control it down, palms in. Two. Control it down, that's it, hips back. Now, as you start to fatigue, you'll notice that you start to stand up. If you do, just have a little reset and tip back forward because the more upright you get, the more we're taking the work out of the rear delt and it's just going to be in the same part of the shoulders that we've already worked. Nice. 
Now, if you're struggling here, another way to do this is just to bend your elbows a little bit more and shorten the lever length. Here's a weight. Good. And for now, we're just trying to breathe through it. Exhale on the work. Inhale on the way down. So we exhale on the pull or the push. That's it. Nice. Round one done. Two more to go. This time... I'm going to work on my band. So instead of the Arnold press, I'm going to do an overhead press. All right, so triceps in front part of the shoulders, racking it up. All right, and if you're on your bar, same applies here. Elbows forward, in front of the face. And as you press overhead, you want to fully straighten your arms, slightly forward, poke the chin, and make sure that that bar in your weight is directly above you, controlling it down. This is making me shaky. <laughs> Exhale the work. Inhale the downward. So keep that control. Is your core locked on tight? Soft knees. No momentum, just pure isolation. Try to relax the shoulders down. Back and down. Last one. Nice. Okay, brilliant. Upright rows next, side delt. So I'm going to see how this goes here. I just want to make sure I've got tension as I pull straight up. Just locking the feet under. Yeah, a little something like that. A little hoe down movement. Always fun, always sexy. Okay, tension on the band, arms are hanging, chest up. Up we come. Good, so your hands are going to stay in front of your thighs and your feet are hip width apart, just coming straight up. That's it. So you don't want to be pulling like wide. Just up, just nice and straight. Just keeping your hands hip width apart. Okay, I'm just gonna change this tempo a little, up a little quicker, down a little slower. So as soon as I touch down, I'm going straight up again. Pull for one, down for three. All right, good. Rear delts, so those little pulls. And I'll tell you what, it really burns. Really burns if you're isolating correctly. What you don't want to do is pull with your elbow and then extend your forearm because that's going to work the tricep. You want to lock your arms in place and just work those little pulses, little pulls. All right, so arms locked in. Let's go. That's it. So tension from the start to the finish. And my shoulder blades now, I can just feel them wrapping around the back of the ribs, squeezing together. It's a really great exercise, also a really great one to do um, as a little prehab exercise or as a warm up for your upper body training days. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. Okay, we've got about 10 seconds left, so let's go about three or four more. Breathing. And one. Uh, so, so in your peripheral visual just vision, just try and watch those hands. I know sometimes one side really dominates. Just try your best to keep it even. Okay, so onto my bar this time. I'm gonna do my overhead press, upright rows, and then jump onto plates for my flies again. Last round team. Alright, so wrap it up. Barbell moves from just above the collarbone, elbows forward up to the ceiling. That's it, taking it all the way up. Little forward poke of that chin, core locked on tight. Here you go, so really important to brace your core here as you press overhead, otherwise we see that, start to fatigue that lower back, really not good, so tuck the tailbone under, lock the core on. I find splitting my stance really helps here for stability, because if I stand in my regular stance, I do tend to do that, so split. Lock it down, nice powerful press. Time. Okay, moving on to upright rows. Yeah, I love this exercise, especially with the bar. All right, team, so thumbs, or hands to the hip width apart. We're just going straight up. All right, core on, how much can you isolate this? 
really important here to keep that weight close to your body. And if you have any sort of shoulder or impingement issues, you just want to work the bar to your mid chest. No higher, it's just fine. Nice and controlled on the downward. Imagine you're trying to push the bar down away from you, create the resistance. Full range, all the way up, all the way down. But no rest for the width of the bottom. Keep it going. The minute we touch bar and down, pull it straight up. Let's go two more. And one. Nice. Okay. Rear flies for the last time. And then we'll do some bison and tries and you are done. Okay. So. Oh, and if you have a really lightweight at home and that's not quite enough for you, you can do a triple pulse. And come down. How about that? All right, let's go. So good hip hinge, hips back. Call up, down, shoulders back and down. Chin tucked under. And let's fly. Up for one, hold, down for three. See if you can hold that squeeze the top for a split second. That's it. Feel those shoulder blades juicing up your back. Oh, it's been a while. Oh. Nice one, guys. Keep ripping it out there. Try to keep that same tempo, same pace. Trying to slow down. Keep the range, keep your form. Anything else? Smile. Last one. Time. Good. All right, that's shoulders. That is shoulders. Triceps. Let's do the back of the arms. A little shake off. Ooh. Really great stretch for the anterior delts. This one here. And the chest. And the rear delts by bringing one arm across. Oh. All right, team. So, I'll show you your options. So, if you have your, uh, if you have a bar, or your dumbbell, or your plates, um, let's go for some skull crushes. Um, and if that's not for you this morning, or if you're really trying to push yourself the heavier weight at home, and you're not too sure about the control, um, you can work overhead extensions or little back scratches. Okay. So, um, that's your first option. Your second option, with your band. <laughs> Now this is great, you get a bit of a free arm wax here, but, but don't let that stop you, it's a great little workout. So we're going to work palms facing forward, just looping into the band, and we're going to extend from there, just trying to keep those hands um, slightly separated, elbows tracking forward, and keeping the range. Oh, that's tasty. Okay, so three rounds, I'm going to go first to, uh, well, first one with the bar, onto plates, and then onto my band. So. Let's go. So you don't need to have a bench here, just find you flat on the floor. Movement is as follows, guys. From the sky, hand shoulder width apart. The upper arm stays stationary, just the forearm moves. Back to your forehead. Press it straight up. Drop the shoulders. Control it down. Up with the band. That's good. So imagine you're reaching for the sky and only your forearms are moving. So elbows keep facing up. And your bar, your weight comes to where your peak of your baseball cap would be. Again, slowly down with control. Pop it up. Good. Try to feel both arms, both sides working equally. I know it's hard. Try to squeeze the back of the arm too. Perfect. Okay, let's give it a try with dumbbells or plates. Let's see how this one feels. Yeah. All right, guys, let's keep palms facing forward for this one. As it imagines to bar. Now, when you've got your couple of weights, you're going to see more any imbalances. Which arm takes over quicker? Which one's a little slower to get to the top? That's it. So, again, there's your plank position. Press. Good, keeping it going. So, the exact same thing if you were using body weight would be your diamond or your tricep push-up or your military push-up, just like such. Oh, it feels great to push your own body weight. It's a kind reminder of uh, what you've been doing during our break, let's say, last couple of months. All right, so we're not only moving, we're squeezing the back of the arm. Nice. 
Okay, I'm going to give this band action a go. Oh, otherwise feel free to stay where you are. And sorry if I've kept you waiting if you're just using your band. Okay, here we go. So just looping the feet over. All right, foot extend to the top. Let's give that neck a scratch. Yeah, guys, so a lot of, well, most of the time actually, we see people doing this either just in the top half, just little movements there. No, 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 you want to come all the way down, right to the base of your neck. Squeeze up. Good. Your muscle only works under full contraction. There, that's a fully contracted muscle. Just working it there is not really doing all that much. But if you're keeping it under tension, that's better than nothing. Huh. Let's get stuck back in again. What am I doing? Oh, that's burning. And I'm lucky to be short. Woo! Time. Okay. Good. Triceps done. So, let's go for biceps. Super simple, super simple. Okay. Um, biceps, rather than working according to a timer, I know you've been waiting to pump the guns up, so let's work 21s. Okay, so either your bar or your plates, um, and of course your band works just fine. So what we're going to do, guys, Three rounds here, um, at least three. Keep going <laughs> once I'm done if you like, because that's going to be our last exercise. First action is going to be moving your bar, dumbbells or band from your thighs to your belly. So bottom half of the range. Okay, once we've done seven, we're going top half. So from the belly up to the shoulders. And the entire time we're keeping our elbows directly underneath the shoulders. And your last seven, taking up to 21, are going to be full range curls. But try not to swing your body, try and isolate as much as you can. Should we give it a try? Yes, okay, let's go. Round one. So, make it a very obvious stop in front of the belly. Good, locking that core down. Stable base at the bottom. All right, hand down at the bottom. Let's go for the top. From the belly button, up to the shoulders. Now try and stop it dead in line. As you fatigue, it'll creep down, but try and keep it up there. All right, I've got three left here. Chest up, shoulders back. Knees soft. All right, last seven. When you're done, when you're ready, full range. Let's go. Control it down. Don't let it drop. Oh, are you feeling pumped? Oh, so this is a really great way to get those muscles popping, hypertrophy, 21s, working in one half of the range and the other in the full range. Bam! Good. Little mini stretch, shake it off, and we'll go over two more times. Next up, I'm going to use my band. Feel free to stick on your bar, or use your weights, your plates. I'm going to see how this goes. <laughs> Not too bad, just a free arm wax. All right, 21 again, let's go, run two. So, tension. Mm, this is different, this is very different. Just experimenting all the things you can do with the band. All right, top range, chop, chop when you're ready. <laughs> I'll tell you, this is intense, this is intense. And then seven full. Let's go. This definitely adds another element using the band, I tell you. Oh, oh. And one. All right, team. That's pretty much all I've got time for this morning. Feel free to keep it going. You want to be doing one more set to complete your three rounds of your 21s. Amazing work. Any questions, please feel free to shout out. Just make sure you have a good stretch after for your biceps. You know what you're doing here, guys. The triceps, your chest, your shoulders, rear delts. And we'll see you very soon, hopefully in the club. See ya.